Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Visualize Temporal Data tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. In this tutorial, you will observe changes in international tourism in New Zealand over a 20-year period, examine trends with a line chart, and visualize the time-enabled data. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've opened ArcGIS Pro and signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Visualize Temporal Data project package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Visualize Temporal Data. Open the one with the authoritative badge. The project opens to a map showing New Zealand's territorial authority boundaries and a few cities. Start by opening the Cities Attribute table and note that the table contains records for 10 cities. Because of a display filter, only 5 features display on the map. Next, open the Territorial Authorities Attribute table and note there are 67 records for territorial authorities and one record for areas outside of a territorial authority. There are no attributes with information on tourism. That data is contained in a separate file that you'll add to the project. Close the attribute tables. To work with Excel files in ArcGIS Pro, the Microsoft Access Database Engine 2016 driver must be installed on your computer. Starting with ArcGIS Pro 3.0, you also need a version of the Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime that is compatible with a bit version, 32 or 64 bit, of the driver. Check out our documentation on installing drivers to work with Microsoft Excel files. Once you have the correct driver installed, return to Pro and click the Map tab. Click Add Data and click Folders to show folders associated with the project. Browse to the User Data folder, double-click the Chinese Visitors by TA spreadsheet, and click the Tourism Worksheet to select it. Click OK to add the Excel sheet as a table to your project. In the Contents pane, under Standalone Tables, Right-click the Percent Chinese Tourism by TA table and click Open. Each column in the table lists a different territorial authority. Each row lists a year from 1997 to 2017. Cell values represent tourists from China as a percentage of all international tourists. Temporal data in ArcGIS works best when unique spatio-temporal values are stored as separate rows in a single column. This table has 21 rows for years and 64 columns for territorial authorities. We want to create a table that stores a row for each of the 1,344 unique combinations of year and territory. In the Geoprocessing pane, search for Transpose Fields and open the tool. Add the Chinese Tourism table as the input field. Under Fields to Transpose, click Add Many, toggle all the checkboxes, uncheck Year, and click Add. These fields will become rows in the output table. Change the output table name to Chinese Tourism Transposed, the Transposed field to Territorial Authority, and the Value field to Chinese Percentage of Total. The Transposed field is a new field in the output table that will store the names of the territorial authorities. The Value field is a new field that will store the Chinese Tourism Percentage values. Under Attribute fields, Click the Input drop-down arrow, select Year, and run the tool. Make the Catalog pane active, expand Databases, and expand the Visualize Temporal Data Geodatabase to view the output data you created. Close the Percent Chinese Tourism by TA table and open the Chinese Tourism Transpose table. The table now includes a separate row for each unique combination of year and territory. However, not all the fields have the correct data type. If you hover over the Chinese percentage of total field heading, you'll see that the field data type is text. We need a numeric field that displays decimal points. Since we can't change the data type of an existing field, we'll need to create a new field and populate it with the same values. Hover over the year field and note that the field data type is double. It would be better if the year was stored as a date type. Go to the Table tab and click Add to open the Fields view. In the last row of the Fields view, set the new field name to Chinese Percentage and press Enter. Change the data type to Float to support decimal points. 
On the Fields tab, save your edits and close the Fields view. In the table, right-click the Chinese percentage field heading and click Calculate Field. The input table, field name, and expression type parameters are set correctly. In the list of fields, double-click Chinese percentage of total. When the tool runs, the new Chinese percentage field will store the values from the Chinese percentage of total field. The difference is that the values will be numbers instead of text. Click OK and notice that the Chinese percentage field is populated with numeric values expressed as six decimal places. Now we can delete the Chinese percentage of total text field. Let's convert the year field into a date type. We'll do this with a geoprocessing tool. Make the geoprocessing pane active and click back. Search for the Convert Temporal Field tool and open it. Set the input table as Chinese Tourism Transposed and the input field to Year. Next to Input Format, click Set Format and select YYYY, which is the format of our date. Notice that the output field type parameter is correctly set to Date. Run the tool and notice the year converted field is added to the table and populated with dates. We can delete the old year field. To display the data by time on the map, we need to join the Chinese Tourism Transpose standalone table to the Territorial Authorities layer in the map. The join cardinality will be one to many, meaning each Territorial Authority can have many matches in the tourism table. In fact, 20 matches, one for each year. Open the attribute table for the Territorial Authorities layer. Notice that the values in the name field are formatted with underscores between words. Taking a look at the Chinese Tourism Transpose table, we can see the values for Territorial Authority also contain names formatted with underscores. Joins need to be based on a field that has common values in both tables. It doesn't matter if the field names are the same, and in this case they're not, but the field values have to be formatted in the same way. Close the Chinese Tourism Transpose table. Right-click the Territorial Authorities layer, point to Joins and Relates, and click Add Join. The input table is correctly set to Territorial Authorities. Set the input field to Name and the Join table to Chinese Tourism Transposed. The Join field is correctly set to Territorial Authority. Click Validate Join to check for any potential problems and click OK to run the tool. Scroll across the table to see the appended fields. There are a lot of fields, so let's hide the ones we don't need. In the table, Right-click any column heading and click Fields to open the Fields view. In the Visible column, uncheck the checkbox in the column heading to turn off the visibility of all fields in the table. Check the Visible box next to Name, Chinese Percentage, and Year Converted so that they are the only fields visible in the table. Save the changes and close the Fields view. The Territorial Authorities table now displays only the three fields we need. Keep in mind that the join is just a temporary or virtual operation. It exists only in this one map. The data source behind the Territorial Authorities layer hasn't changed at all. You can now close the table. Let's create a line chart to help us visualize the tourism trends over time. There are too many Territorial Authorities to show in a single chart. So let's focus on those that contain features in the Cities layer. On the Map tab, click Select by Location. The input features is correctly set to Territorial Authorities. Set the relationship to Contains and the selecting features to Cities. Click OK to run the tool. After the tool runs, the 10 Territorial Authorities that contain Cities are selected on the map. Remember that we're only showing some of them because of a display filter. Right-click the Territorial Authorities layer, point to Create Chart, and click Line Chart. Before we configure the chart, let's click Filter by Selection so the chart only displays the features selected on the map. In the Chart Properties pane on the Data tab, click the Date or Number drop-down arrow and select Year Converted to display years on the x-axis. For numeric fields, select Chinese Percentage and click Apply to add Chinese Tourist Percentage to the y-axis. The values are currently summed for the territorial authorities, which doesn't make sense. Click the Split By drop-down arrow and select Name to create a separate line for each selected territory. Under Time Binning Options, change the interval size to one year. 
Uncheck the Trim Incomplete Interval checkbox to make sure that the last year of data is included in the chart. Now that we have a basic chart showing Chinese tourism over time, let's modify the chart properties to improve the chart's appearance. Click the General tab and change the title. Change the x-axis title to Year and the y-axis title to Percentage. Click the Series tab to see a table of territorial authority names, symbols, and labels. Click the symbol next to Auckland to open the color palette and select a bright red color to change the feature's line color on the chart. Choose bright colors that stand out from each other for the remaining nine territorial authorities. You can see that over time the percentage of Chinese tourists is increasing in most of the territories. In the chart legend, click the name of a territory and notice its line disappears from the chart. You can click the dim territory name in the legend again and the line reappears. Dim the five territories of the South Island so only the North Island territories remain. You can hover over any data point on a line to view the name, year, and percentage values. Close the chart view and chart properties pane and clear the selection. On the map, the territories are symbolized by unique values. Let's switch to a graduated color scheme and use lighter and darker hues to represent lower and higher percentages of Chinese tourists. Right-click the Territorial Authorities layer and click Symbology. Change the primary symbology to graduated colors. The field to symbolize is automatically set to Chinese percentage since that is the only numerical field that is not hidden. Click the Color Scheme drop-down arrow, check the Show Names checkbox, and locate the yellow-orange-red 5 Classes color scheme. In the lower part of the Symbology pane on the Classes tab, edit the upper value and label columns as shown in this table. You can double-click a cell to make it editable and press the Enter key to commit an edit. Make sure to edit all of the upper values before editing the labels. Click the More drop-down arrow and show the values out of range. A gray symbol is added below the other symbols to represent null values in the data. Right-click the out-of-range symbol and change the color to gray 20%. Change the label to No Data. On the ribbon, click the Feature Layer tab and change the transparency value to zero to make the colors more vibrant. In the Contents pane, turn off the Cities layer and expand the Territorial Authorities layer to see its legend. At the moment, only one value is symbolized for each feature on the map. To see the data change year by year, we need to enable time on the layer. Right-click the Territorial Authorities layer, open its properties, and click the Time tab. Under Filter using time, click Filter Layer Content based on attribute values. The default values correctly set the time field to year converted and the time extent to the range of time available in the year converted field. Click OK and notice a time slider appears at the top of the map view. You can hover over the time slider to see its controls. Click Time Disabled to change it to Time Enabled. The time span collapses to the first value in the range and the map displays data for 1997. In that year, Chinese tourists did not make up more than 2% of international visitors to any territory. Most of the territories have no data for that year. Let's configure the time slider to play back the data in one-year intervals. On the ribbon, click the Time tab and check the Time Snapping checkbox. Under the checkbox, select Years. In the current time group, change the span value to zero to display each year as a single value rather than a range of values. Click Play All Steps. The map plays through the data displaying the percentage of Chinese tourists visiting each territorial authority in each year. In the final years, there is a noticeable increase, especially on the South Island. Optionally, you can create an animation of the playback and export it as a video file. This allows you to share your work with others who may not have access to ArcGIS Pro. The steps for this section can be found in our documentation. For more detailed steps, including the Create an Animation and Export a Video section, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.